Do you have pre-existing condition that is making you concerned and worried during this coronavirus season? Stay tuned and watch this video and I'm going to show you how you'll be able to take charge of this your pre-existing condition. Hello my viewers, welcome to Ezra Wellness where you learn proven ways to help to live in. This is your lady Salome Adamaku. I'm a nurse by profession. If you want to learn proven ways to help to live in, subscribe to my channel. And when you do, click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Today, I want to talk about a plant protein called lactans. These lactans are sticky proteins that love to bind to sugar. Then what they also do is that the plant uses this as a defense mechanism. That means when you eat these plant proteins in larger quantities over a long period of time, it starts to wreak havoc on the body. An example of this lactin is gluten. I know you've heard about gluten-free, yes. Gluten is an example of lactin. Example of food that contain these lactins in higher quantities are wheat, corn, soya, peanuts, cashews, potatoes, and then nice shade vegetables, examples like peppers, tomatoes, and I will put an extensive list of the Dr. Gandhi approved yes and no list underneath this video so that you will see all the amount of food that are out there that contain these lactins in higher quantities that you could avoid. So what do these lactins do that makes them so dangerous? These lactins love to bind to sugar, like I've said. So where they start their work, according to research, is in the stomach or in the intestines. So what they do is, because they love to stick to sugar, they're able to stick to the sugars in the stomach walls. And when they stick to them, they stay there until they complete the havoc that they're doing. So your intestines is one single cell layer. That means if you take my fingers, for example, and if that is the cell layer of your intestines, and that is how normally it looks like, it's pointing up like that, they are tied together. The word, the word is that it's semi-permeable. That means it allows certain things to go through it, but not all things. That means when you eat, foods like the vitamins that we've eaten, the protein, the glucose, are able to go through these tight junctions and go into the bloodstream. But big things like the lactin themselves, dead bacteria, little, little poops are not able to go in. But what the lactin does is that it produces a chemical on these tight junctions that make them weak enough that they open up like that. And when they open, bigger things that are not supposed to leak into the blood start to leak in because the holes are bigger. Bigger things like the lactin themselves, other dead bacteria and other things leak in the blood. And this condition is called leaky gut. I hope you've heard of it. So that is where the work of the lactin begins. So now this leaky gut is going on. The lactin is in the blood. Other things are also in the blood. The body see it as foreign. So what the body does is that it just mounts up the um, inflammatory response because Anything foreign, white blood cells are there, they're trying to fight it. So the fight is going on. So the inflammatory response, look at it as if you have something under your skin, the swelling and the redness that go there. The same thing is happening, but now it's in your body. So you don't see it. So this inflammatory response is going on. So your body is in a high alarm mode. Because of that, it lays groundwork for other disease conditions, according to study. So one thing the lactin also does once they are in, the, in our blood is that the molecular formula of the lactin look like the molecular formula of some of the proteins in some parts of the body, like our joints, like our thyroid, like our nerve endings, and like our skin. So what it does is because the body is in high inflammatory mode, it's attacking all these lactins, it doesn't want to miss any of the lactin. So anything that looks like the lactin, the body tends to attack it. And then once it does, it starts to attack its own self because it looks like the lactin. And this is what 
that is believe that it could be the cause of these autoimmune disorders that we see out there. Examples are um, rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease, and things like that. So that is another work of the lactin. One thing the lactin also do is that because it sticks to um, um, sugars, it's also able to stick to the vascular linings, our veins, our arteries, it's stuck to the walls. And over time, it lays the groundwork for cardiovascular diseases. Another thing the lactin also does is, some of them looks like the protein of some of the third in our body, like I said, but one particular lactin looks closer to the hormone insulin. So what insulin does is that on our cell walls, we have receptor sites for this insulin. So when you eat and there is high glucose in your blood, the body will release insulin in the blood. And this insulin hormone will sit on the receptor site on your cell and tell the cell that pick up the glucose that is there for energy because the cell is hungry. The cell will pick it up and when it's done, it will tell the um, hormone that I'm done with my work and then the hormone will fall off. Waiting for the next time the cell needs it, then the insulin will bind again. But lactin is able to bind to this receptor site. And when lactin binds to it, you know it loves to stick, as I've said. So it sticks there and it does not fall off. So when you eat and there is glucose in the blood, the insulin hormone is released, but it doesn't find anywhere to sit on the cell for the glucose to be picked up because the lactin is blocking it off. Because of that, then the insulin will bind to fat cells to tell them to store it because there is so much of them. And then we keep storing them. And this is what leaves the groundwork for obesity and other disease conditions. So the lactin is disrupting the cellular communication between the cells and the insulin and giving them the wrong information. So these are some of the work that lactins have shown to cause. And by so doing, lay groundwork for diseases. Examples are diabetes, prediabetes, insulin resistance, high blood pressure, coronary artery disease, talk about joint pain, joint um, stiffness, talk about mental fog because your brain is hungry, the insulin is uh, blocked, so you cannot pick up the food. Talk about GI issues like bloating, acid reflux, irritable bowel syndrome, so many diseases that I'm going to make a list underneath this video. You could take a look at it. Some also like some forms of cancers is believed that this lactin could be contributing to it. So what you really want to do is you want to take these lactins out of your food because when you do and you seal the leaky gut, there'll be no lactin going in into your body to start any disease in the first place. So that is why on the plant paradox diet in my previous videos, first week you get rid of every carbohydrate, you eat only vegetables so that you kickstart this bacteria in our stomach that are healthy, that we've starved for a long time. So once they start to get stronger, the following week, you start to repair and restore the gut lining because the body is made in such a way that it's able to repair itself once it's given the right tools. So you take the lactin out of there and then the repair goes on. So you're saying to yourself, so Salome, all these food have all this lactin over a long period of time. How come all of a sudden it's starting to wreak havoc? Lately, our use of antibiotic and NSAIDs like ibuprofen, Advil, also cause the lining of the stomach to weaken, making the work of the lactins very easy. So you want to remove this lactin out of your diet at all costs. I know with the coronavirus going on, people are very scared because they have pre-existing conditions, they have diabetes, pre-diabetes, they are obese. And then people are worried that they might catch this virus. But what I want to say is that if you want to take care of your pre-existing condition, put this plant product to test and then it might help you with your pre-existing condition. You say it to Salome, so you believe all this? I do because in the plant products book, the main idea is eliminating this lactin out of your diet. And I experience it and have reaped the benefit. 
because I told you I lost 30 pounds on this plant products diet. My skin is clear. My mind is clear. I wake up in the morning with a lot of energy. My constipation issues have resolved. And also my blood pressure issues resolve without taking medication. So yes, I know you'll be able to do it and this will help you. So please, I challenge you, if you haven't started this plant products diet, give it a try because I know it will help you with your pre-existing condition. Those of you who have already started the diet, congratulations, continue with it. And then give me a comment, let me know what this diet have done for you so far. Those of you who haven't started, if you have a question, give me a comment. Let me know the reason why you have not started this diet and I'll answer it so that you also be part of this healthy going on. You say to yourself, Salome, I don't have any health issues. Congratulations that you don't have any health issues. Okay, you also could still do something about the way you eat so that you don't end up with any health issue at the end. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for watching. Remember, this is Ezra Wells.